Here's the third heat. In lane four, Alexandra Wolzak, freshman from New Mexico. In lane five, it's Rhea Hoity, a junior from San Diego State. In lane six, that's Yolanda Johnson. She's a senior out of Colorado State with the best time of 59.50. In lane seven, it's Kylie Burton, junior from Nevada. A 102.60 on a seed time. In lane eight, that's Savannah Dutton, freshman from San Jose State. She's run a 103.04. In lane nine, it's Carolyn Ross, a senior from Nevada with a 59.37. This your third and final prelim of the women's 400 meter hurdle. Catch you up with some of the men's javelin who's just gotten underway here momentarily. Business to finish on the track. On your mark. Start up top. How about that from Wilsack, freshman? Carolyn Ross from Nevada has grabbed an early lead here. There she is on the top of your screen. Stagger being made though a little bit now. Savannah Dutton, the freshman from San Jose State, watch the inside lanes with Yolanda Johnson. And it is Yolanda Johnson now. It's her show. Johnson and Burton. Two hurdles left. Burton takes the lead now. And now it's Johnson, 50 meters. So Yolanda Johnson takes it home. Next year, excuse me, from San Diego State was Hoyt. That was the third and final. Hey, we're gonna get you your final competitors in the finals, but you see it was Johnson from Colorado State with a one minute six one. Okembo out of Boise State will finish first as we'll take another look at this last finish from Yolanda Johnson and her win. She just edged Hoyt at the end there. These two had traded leads a couple of times. I advance to the finals. Each heat winner will move on to the next seven best times. One of the more grueling events that there is. Last 100 meters, or 110 meters with the three hurdles. Can make a champion and a not qualifying, and vice versa. Harris at the top of your screen for New Mexico. Waring has made the stagger. And look out for Waring. Zari Waring, a freshman from San Jose State. And then Breyer, the sophomore out of Arizona, or excuse me, out of Air Force, apologize, Arizona. Breyer, and he's getting stronger. Two hurdles to go. And the last 
last 50 meters. Meyer has come on hard and he'll win. Second's gonna be Warren. 52.03. What? No, afterwards. Oh. I was crying. Oh, why were you crying, baby? Because I did horrible. You didn't. You didn't do horrible. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Hey, listen, you did not do horrible. You know if you did horrible, I'd be the first one to tell you, right? You did not do horrible. You did not do horrible. You were doing great, by the way. You came through to 228 mid. Jumping. Yep, yep, that's all it was. Got too close to the hurdle, started jumping up in the air, lost the rhythm. You're a baby, that happens, okay? You're allowed to be upset about it, you can be upset about it for eh, 30 minutes, okay? But then I need you to refocus and understand that the possibility of you running this four by four is high. And I need a better version of the amazing version that we saw of you two weeks ago when we were here. And you know why it's high? Because we trust you, okay? You didn't do horrible. You learned how to do something new this year and you did a fucking great job. You earned your way to this meet. At the beginning of the year, it wasn't looking like that, okay? It's not the end that you wanted. I'm proud of you. If it was shit, I would tell you, okay? You did a good job. Thank you. You did a good job. You want me to stay in? Oh, okay. JD, see you tomorrow, brother. All right. Sure. Ultimately, you know, I'm proud of the overall effort we got out of day one. Um, the biggest highlight of the day, obviously, was the beginning of the day, starting with the men's hammer crew. Um, you know, Pablo it finds his way into eighth place, which is a huge deal. One point in a championship meet is a lot. Um, Bryson finishes second, gets on the podium, and of course Fabio comes away with the championship. So in total, the men's hammer delivered 19 points, which was an overprojection of what we could have done. So that was a great job. Um, prelim days in, in, on the track are about survival. You're only just trying to make your way into the finals. Men's 200 meter group advanced four out of five to the final, so that's a great showing by them. They'll all say that they could have run better races, and that's true, but it doesn't matter. All you want, all you want is a lane in the final. Um, we were expecting to get two ladies into the final of the 200 minimum. We got two, um, Kaylin and Charlay, both freshmen. Um, I feel you know, bad for, uh, for Jalen and, and for Gabby, uh, our upperclassmen who, who did not advance to the 200 meter finals, but they've been grinding it out all year, and ultimately I'm really proud of what they've accomplished. Um, 400 hurdles closed out the night. Uh, Mystic ran a sloppy race, but again, he made the final, which is all that matters. So he's going to get a chance to clean that up and go battle it out for the championship on Saturday. Uh, Savannah kind of got lost in her rhythm a little bit, didn't make the final. She wasn't projected to make the final. She's a baby. She learned a new event, and I'm super proud of her effort as well. Uh, the 800 meter crew, I thought, ran really, really well. Um, uh, Aaliyah had a huge lifetime best by two seconds. Unfortunately, she's the first person out. It wasn't fast enough to advance. And, and Mike and CJ battled all the way through their 800s. I was really proud of their efforts. So night one, day one, you know, went pretty well for us. Tomorrow we're back with the, uh, the hundreds, the, the 400s on the track in the open sprints, prelims. But the biggest thing we got going on tomorrow are the long jump finals, men and women. So Ajamu's going to get out there and, and the whole female crew. So we'll see how it goes.